Welcome to some Wednesday Reiki. If you are new here, welcome. I am Samantha. I'm a Reiki, mas Reiki master teacher who cannot talk today. I do much go by to go believe code. Uh, if you would like some of this energy, just say in your head or out loud, I'll take some of that Reiki and it will get to work. What this energy does is it helps you release the past emotions, stress, trauma, negative thought patterns so you can heal yourself. I am just a channel for this energy. Everybody has the ability to do this. So I am not the healer, I am the cleaner. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Good morning, how are you? You know what, let's go ahead and just bring the magnets out. I usually wait a little bit and warm up, but I feel like we need them today. This is Reiki. Reiki with magnets. Magnets sound good, oh yeah.
we're gonna do, I'm gonna tap on each chakra and spin it out. So you may feel pressure around your head or your heart or anywhere, it's completely normal. Oh no, Christine, I'm sorry. Hello, hi, long time no see. I hope you're doing well. questions isn't rude. This is Reiki. It is an energy healing modality that means universal life force energy. Everything um, is this energy. A lot of people call it different names, different flavors, different styles. Chi, Ki, Prana, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, and the Force. Thank you, Trucker Chris. So what this energy does is it calms you and it helps you release the past. Any trauma, stress, negative thought patterns, emotions that's contributing to physical emotional or mental symptoms in your body so you can heal yourself I'm just a channel for this energy and in order for it to kind of help you out you have to just consent to it so be like I'll take some of that Reiki in your head or out loud and it will get to work four more weeks to get time out off goodness. Rough emotional past week. I'm sorry. I need this after school. You can intend for this energy to continue to work all day. This energy is limitless. Just tell it what you want it to do. How are the cats doing? They're doing very well. Thank you. They're currently sleeping. As well as the good, yeah, as well as weekly therapy, sound therapy, and ener Reiki energy. Wow, I can't talk. Thank you for the heart puffs. This full moon has taken away my ability to speak. <laughs> it's been a struggle the last two days.
Good morning. Right? Nice energy boost for the day. <laughs> we started the magnets right away. I was like, we ain't waiting. I feel like we need it. You see so many people doing this with bad intentions. Hey, Gina. Hungry for cobra. <laughs> Glad you're here. Someone's trying to join this party. Thank you for the heart, me. Sam, you're in control of your energy. What you say goes. If you say it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. of your ball of energy around you. What you say goes. Just release in the week. Energy boost and release in. Especially recovering from the full moon. Not really at night. I'm usually busy at night. I try to, but... Rarely at night, I'm more of a morning afternoon type. You're welcome. Thank you. You thought today was Thursday. I thought today was Thursday too. <laughs> it's like I'm missing a day.
meant for me will simply find me. Thank you, Danny boy. Leo season, well, happy belated birthday. A lot of people I know, their birthdays are this week. I'm surrounded by Leos. You're welcome. Here's the 29th, well, happy early birthday. Thank you, Danny boy. Your dad's was the twenties. Is the twenties? Was the twenty? Am I the first? Wow. Hello, Michelle. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Have a good one, Sam. Thank you, Danny boy. I'm good. How are you? Thank you, Natasha. Pecan pie. Good, good. Very good. This is Yasui Warrior Reiki. A little bit of a uh, level up Reiki. U S U I. They're all, they're all the same using the same energy. It's just the type of style um, and the types of symbols and the practices with it. But they all have the same goal. Helping others so they can heal themselves. Hello, Todd. Thank you, Mike. Good morning, Katie. I'm glad you're here hanging out with me before you start your day. Thank you, Hillary. for you. Ooh, it's shoulder, shoulder chest try day. It's leg day for me. These are magnets. Good morning, Laura. You need it today? We'll sit back, relax, and allow. Oops. Does it make sense if I'm getting emotional for what you're doing? Yes. So welcome to energy healing. When the energy is flowing, when you're consenting to the Reiki energy, it's going to start um, releasing stuff so you can heal. You can heal yourself. What this looks like, a lot of people feel a deep sense of relaxation. Um, people may fall asleep. They feel very tired. Uh, you may feel 
um, so sorry, surges of energy, goosebumps, minor aches and pains, emotions may surface, uh, you get the zoomies. There's just so many things you may experience. That's just how the energy is processing. So if you start to feel emotions come up, allow them to come up and release them. Completely normal. Where? Hold on, I need a drink of water. Do they magnify the energy? Magnets work your magnetic field. So we have one around our bodies, around our hearts, and around in each individual cell. They like hit different. They hit different. <laughs> That's why we love them. All right. Hey Kia, how are you? Oh, Puppers is loving it. Mine usually have the zoomies and they're running around, but they seem to be quiet. <laughs> Hold on, I got. Hi, Lady of the Harvest. How are you? I'm doing very well, Kia. Thank you. Good morning, Sapphire. <laughs> That's the only way to say that name. <laughs> Hi, Lady of the Harvest. Aw, puppers. How was the Lady of the Cornbread? <laughs> Lady of the Cornbread this morning? Oh, she's doing quite well. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it can help with anything. It can help with any physical, emotional, or mental, or spiritual, and or spiritual symptom that you may have. At the end of the day, this energy is helping you release the past, those blocks and imbalances, so you can heal yourself. So really, I'm just your cleaner. And I love cleaning. Hello, Hillary. How are you? The best to stay in one level. Feel free. I'd love it. <laughs> All right, let's let it go, Firefly. <gasps> hey, Kia, that's awesome. whisper it's like one I did I whispered it was awful <laughs> you guys are like what's wrong with you <laughs> hello welcome so you can't really stop the intrusive thoughts it's what you do with them we have thousands and thousands of thoughts all day it's if you give into it if you have a thought a negative thought of like I'm not good enough just be like no old story that's not me anymore that's an opportunity um for me to identify this person or i could just let it go be like nope wrong and then just start telling yourself um afterwards you can just say actually i am good enough because of x y and z so it's kind of like you're um you're deleting it and filling it with something else Like, I still get negative thoughts. I'm like, oh, oh, whoa. I was like, ooh, are you sassy. What's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> so it's really try, try to be playful with it the best that you can. But just be like, mm, I'm not going to think this way. I'm going to choose to think this way. And just be your biggest cheerleader. Like, give yourself a pep talk. Right, yeah, yeah. You're very welcome. And 
you know, as you continue to do that, they do get less and less. And when they do come up, you recognize them. You're like, whoa, <laughs> Some, someone's in a mood. I'm sorry. Need some Reiki? Yeah. That full moon hit a lot of people. Hello, uh, Angela. Positive affirmations healthy. Yes. And you don't want to fight the, um, fight your negative thoughts. Be like, oh, I can't think that. I can't think that. I can't think that. Be like, okay, I ha I'm having this thought. I'm giving into it. All right. Well, we're going to go in the other direction. <laughs> Yeah, you had a forced positive affirmations at first, and then you believe it and mean it. And it feels uncomfortable when you when you say something different. You're like, ugh, that's weird, but keep doing it. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I appreciate you, too. I appreciate you hanging out with me this morning. Life is interesting. Hey, Blackheart, sit back, relax, and join in on the fun. But otherwise feeling better about stuff. Is that normal for emotions to be a bit unstable? But otherwise feeling better. Yes, yeah, sometimes. And you know, don't put a negative meaning on emotions that surface. Uh, sometimes it's, you're just releasing some stuff and sometimes you're just being a human and you are just experiencing an emotion. So don't think you're doing anything wrong, that you're a bad person or anything negative. Be like, okay, this is my body's way of telling me that maybe I need to rest. Like, what do I need in this moment? Uh, or, you know, I'm just releasing. Tattoos and music, hello. I feel like I always wake up in a bad mood, which sets me up for a bad day. Well, if you wake up in a bad mood, just acknowledge, okay, I'm feeling in a bad, I feel like I'm in a bad mood. How, what feels good in this moment? What do I need to do? And maybe start saying, you know, I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a bad mood, but I'm still, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. Today's still going to be amazing, even if I am in a bad mood. The Violet Phoenix, how are you? Try to listen to your body and try to reset. You feel guilty because because you make everybody around you unhappy. Now, is that a belief or is that true? That sounds like you're you're blaming yourself for others. I would work through why you feel so guilty and why you believe you make others around you unhappy. Hey, Kate. Happy birthday. Everyone's birthday's this week. Hello, Ollie. Also, did you dye your... I did not dye my hair. No, I think it's just... Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just getting dark. Because I haven't been in the sun since the beginning of June, so it's not getting um, darker. My mom keeps saying I keep getting used to this way of living. I don't know your specific situation. Thank you, Mina. I don't know your specific situation, but you need to focus on you and your happiness. You're not responsible for other people's other people other people's happiness. Uh, that doesn't mean you're you're mean to the other person, but um, every single one of us we're responsible for our own happiness. When people say, "Oh, you have to make me happy," that's um, 
the word that I can't think of. So start focusing on yourself. Start making yourself feel happy. Positive self-talk. Even if you are in a bad mood, comfort yourself. Be like, I'm in a bad mood today. Like a couple of days ago, I woke up in a really bad mood. I was like, oof. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why. I was like, all right, I'm in a bad mood. I guess today I'm just gonna take it easy. And I was just really nice to myself, even though I didn't feel good. I, I did the best I could to be nice to myself and allow my body to do its thing. If it needed to feel this way, that's fine. I wasn't gonna give in to the emotions and change my thoughts and beat myself up over it. And if I noticed I was, cause it, sometimes it can be easier, you know, when you have those emotions, your thoughts kind of like, match that emotion and so whenever I would catch that I'd be like okay let's dial it back what do we need I understand we're in a bad mood we're not gonna have bad mood thoughts okay and I just took care of myself that day I was like all right what would make me feel good in this moment and I was like I just want to lay down and watch a tv show and I did it <laughs> and I felt I felt good yeah asking yourself why you feel this way but I'm responsible for her and I'm her caregiver with me well, yeah, so that is also an intense job, uh, being a caregiver. Uh, my mom was a caregiver for my grandmother, and I can see how much it, it it's a wonderful thing to do, but it's very, it impacts your overall well-being. So you have to take time for yourself and love yourself, because when you start loving yourself, taking time for yourself, what people say, and uh, if people are mean to you, it won't bother you as much. Be like, well okay I'm sorry you feel that way you know if you if you didn't do anything if they're just like mad at you for no reason then it won't bother you like if they're bullying you or being mean to you and you didn't do anything it won't bother you as much good things happen to me unexpectedly every day yes I miss something. When I go on a tangent, I look away. So I really need to get better about blocking. I absorbed so much this week. So you're in control of this, this, your energy system. Think of your energy system as your house. Do you just allow anybody to come into your house? Oh no, we don't. We have locks. <laughs> People aren't allowed to come in unless we invite them in. That goes, that's the same with your energy system. So if you say you absorb other people's energy, you're like, all I do is absorb other people's energy. You're telling your energy system that you absorb. It's okay to absorb that. You can say, I absorb it to feel it, then release it back, and you can, but if you don't want to absorb it at all, set the intention that your energy system is like your house and nothing can come in and if it does it transmutes into positive energy you can think of yourself um, sometimes i visualize that i am fire and so any energy that comes my way gets transmuted into positive energy especially when i go into social gatherings because <laughs> i get i can get tuckered out if i don't do that and call your power back and you can even like tap where you feel the energy and be like return to sender return to sender thank you guys for the gifts yes and it's all a practice it's a practice because you're you're changing the way of doing things and building that confidence in yourself so if you know you say it for one day and nothing have you still feel like you absorb don't beat yourself up keep doing it but yeah i like it hold uh bring something with you that when you hold on to it it gives you power it can be a family heirloom it can be a crystal it can be magnets listen i'm very protective of my energy nothing comes in here i evict it it doesn't even have the opportunity to be evicted I like that when I feel negative energy, I always say, I do not accept this negative energy. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you, Danny boy. I observe, I don't absorb. Yes. I'm trying to be more sociable at work. I have to find a balance. Yes. I don't know. I, you know, everyone says they used to play with magnets as a kid. I never played with magnets. 
you're new to this, well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. New to me or new to Reiki? If you're new to Reiki, this is just energy healing. Um, I am a channel for this energy. It's all around us. Reiki just means universal life force energy, which has a lot of different names, a lot of different flavors. Chi, Ki, Prana, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, and the Force. So a lot of people call it different things, but it is pure unconditional love. So what this energy does is it moves through me out my hands, eyes, um, breath, and it comes to, it goes to you. If you accept it, you have to consent to it. It respects your boundaries. And so what it does, it relaxes you. So you're willing to release anything from the past. And the past is negative thought patterns, trauma, stress, emotions, and so forth. So you can heal yourself. These things from the past that we're holding on to. Uh, creates physical, emotional, or mental symptoms in our bodies. And so this just kind of helps you. We're doing a little bit of spring cleaning <laughs> so you can heal yourself. So I'm just the cleaner, you are the healer. How this works, you're like, well, okay, well, how does it work through the phone? Let's talk about your phone. Your phone is not connected to anything physically. It's connected to this energy that we call Wi-Fi, internet data, cell phone data, and so forth. It's energy, and your phone is interpreting the energy so we can see it here. Thank you guys for the gifts. And so I don't know where you are in the world. I'm in Ohio in the United States, but you all are talking to me, and I'm getting the messages instantly through this energy. We're all connected. So that's how this energy works. We're all connected. So it's like me sending a message to you and you get it instantly. Thank you guys for the gifts. That's what they're called, the rattlesnake eggs. Good morning, Nancy. She can also, who can read minds? Oh man, you don't like the shirt? <laughs> I'm terrified of sharks. And so there's a story behind this shirt. I'm terrified of sharks, but I love lifting. So when you put them together, they're not as scary. So it's all about overcoming your fears. Don't be afraid. Sharks can be very majestic creatures. enjoyed and wanted to know how he gets started. What do you mean to get started? <laughs> Thank you. Your shirt has nothing to do with the ability to run. Listen, I was terrified, terrified of sharks because of Jaws, but it's just fun. You know, you know me well enough to read my mind. Majestic. See, I'm putting a positive meaning on sharks so they don't seem as scary. But does this mean I'm going to go in the ocean and hug one? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, just uh, say in your head or out loud, um, I'll take some of that Reiki or I accept. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you were able to relax. I see you, Kay. I see you. You're welcome. It's the magnets giving you chills. Have a good one, Kay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for the heart, me. 
I love me some magnets. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> cinnamon ice cream for the first time last week didn't even know it existed I was like I think I'm gonna get mint and I saw cinnamon I was like I must have that actually what I had was sprinkles with a side of ice cream cinnamon ice cream thank you for sharing that Kate <laughs> getting them burps I even slurped the melon <laughs> I freaking love you <laughs> I knew this. I got my driving lesson later and test coming up. Oh, you you got this. You got this. Cornbread ice cream. I have missed you very much, Kate. It hasn't been the same. It's right in my chest. Why is that? That's just where you feel your anxiety. Um, that's where I feel my anxiety, like right there. If it feels stuck, um, that's just how your body's feeling the emotion. If it feels stuck, you can always tap it, like tap on your collarbone. Your next merch should be a shark eating a corn. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Did you get the, yes, I, thank you for reminding me. I did. I got not just one cornbread crumble cookie. I got two and they have straw, they had strawberry shortcake, which is my favorite. So I got that as well. S'mores and birthday cake, but I shared it with um, my family, except for one cornbread. That one was mine. That was surprisingly good. It was so good. Y'all, it's time for me to go. Tomorrow, we'll, hold on. So big old stretch, time to close up shop. Wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Hello, you're very welcome. So tomorrow's gonna be the emotion code, body code, belief code, body state, rhythm reset live tomorrow night at 5 p.m eastern standard time you can sign up today those are mini sessions if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, all that information is in um on my website or in the description below or uh, my profile yeah i'm glad you did too thank you guys for uh hanging out with me today uh doing a little bit early very early reiki very early for me but i've been up since 5 a.m so <laughs> So thank you all for being here. Thank you for the likes, the follows, the shares. Thank you for all the gifts. And thank you to my subscribers. I love you all. Well, I love all of you. My Knights of the Cornbread. Protect the Cornbread. Be, wait. Per, wow. mm. Protect the Cornbread. Be the Cornbread. Consume the Cornbread. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow night, you guys. Love you all. Bye.